Hello, Colas, and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest developing stories. We start with Ansu Fati as we are going to be discussing on the details of Ansu Fati's situation at Barcelona right now. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking on the transfer report, as transfer expert Fabrizio Romano reports that Barca are set to sign 18-year-old defensive prodigy by name Marquilliel Faye from NK Kuzosija. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch right up to the very end. Anto Fati has dominated the papers in Barcelona newsrooms recently as the forward continues to face uncertainty over his future at Camp Nou. It appears Barcelona are ready to offload the player in the coming summer in their bid to bring in fresh funds and reduce the salary mass. But the player has appeared quite reluctant to leave the Camp Nou. A recent report from Mundo Deportivo has offered a comprehensive update of Fati's situation at Camp Nou right now, suggesting that the player remains intent on continuing at Barcelona. And so Fati believes he has what it takes to help out the team next season, but coach Xavi Hernandez is not in a position to guarantee him first team minutes. The player, after all, has struggled with a lack of form and has never been the same since returning from injury. This past season, Fatih fell behind the likes of Rafinha, Usman Dembele and Gavi in the pecking order. His lack of productivity and consistency up front has forced the club to consider a sale ahead of the new season. And to Fatih's agent, George Mendes has been trying hard to convince the player to leave Camp Nou, but he is aware of the Spaniard's desire to continue. The club, meanwhile, still prefer cashing in on Fatih as they desperately require a fresh economic injection in order to be able to target new players in the coming summer transfer window. However, Barcelona want to add a repurchase option in Fatih's deal should the club indeed get rid of his services this summer, it appears the Blaugrana are still aware of the player's potential despite his current struggles and would be open to resigning him in the future. This could be a potential incentive for Fatih, but the young star is still insisting on continuing his spell at Camp Nou and fighting for his place in the first team next season. So it will be interesting to see how things pan out in the coming weeks in regards to Ansu Fati's situation. Of course, Fati have been talked about a lot these recent weeks because the player face an uncertain future. And because of the economic crisis Barca currently goes through now, Ansu Fati have been seen as one of the players that they want to cash in on. Quite understandably because the player has not had the best of seasons and despite showing great potential in the past, Ansu Fati have failed to impress the manager and the coolers around the world with very, very flat displays when given opportunities by manager Javi Hernandez. And I don't think many will argue that Barca should cash in on him, especially in a situation where the club currently goes through financial hell. I think as it stands, the player is still pushing to stay. And Josh Mendes, his agent, really wants him to leave for the good of his own career. And because staying next season, there's no guarantee that Fati will be a consistent player. Because even, even if, except, except he turns around his situation miraculously. Because I don't see Fati having a lot of game time that he wished for. Because it's even going to be worse. Because if he refuses to leave, then when next season kicks off and maybe Javi giving him some few opportunities to play and Ansu Fati shows no signs of improvement, then I think he can kiss his career goodbye at Barcelona and surely he will regret not going when he was asked to. So um, as it stands right now, Barca needs to sell a valuable player and Ansu Fati is being seen as one of those players that can bring in some good revenue. 
considering the likes of Manchester United in the Premier League and also some other top clubs across the world are showing strong interest in Fati. Despite his poor form this past season, you know, it doesn't deter those other clubs to keep pushing for Ansu Fati's purchase because they know the kind of potential he has because normally every player has an off-season so it can still be that Fati have an off-season and those, those other teams won't re relent their efforts going strongly for Fati because it all depends on how the environment is. He can go next season in another league and even perform to a level that Barca were not expecting. So let's see how it goes for Fati because as it stands right now, it looks so complicated and nobody can tell if Fati will leave or stay. But despite the player pushing to stay, if Barca really does really want to balance the financial situation of the club, I think they will force a move for Ansu Fati because his future now at Barcelona remains so uncertain. According to Fabrizio Romano, Barcelona are on the verge of securing the signing of 18-year-old defensive prodigy Mikhail Faye from NK Kuzokshita. Having started out in his homeland of Senegal, Faye moved to Europe in February earlier this year when he signed for Croatian outfit NK Kustos Tija. The teenage centre-back, who can also play at left-back, has made 14 senior appearances for the Zagreb-based outfit so far and has a contract that lasts until January 2027. Despite having been in Europe for just a few months, Faye had already attracted a lot of admirers. Indeed, the Senegalese prospect was on the radars of top teams like Chelsea and Borussia Dortmund. However, as per Romano, it is Barcelona who are set to sign the 18-year-old centre-half as per the transfer expert, the La Liga champions will be shelling out a fee of around 5 million euros plus add-ons um, for Faye services this summer. The Blaugrana see Faye as a top player for the future and the deal is, is understood to be good as done. If signed, the teenager would be the second defensive signing that Barca will be making this summer. Having already um, agreed a deal to bring in veteran star Inigo Martinez as a free agent. In fact, the 32-year-old is understood to have successfully passed medicals as well. And the only thing remaining is an official announcement which will be made based on financial fair play situation. As for Faye, should he arrive as expected, there is good chance he will be sent to Barca Athletic squad initially before being integrated into the senior setup. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure to hit the subscribe button so you always stay up to date. Until next time, bye for now.